So I'm Shirley Wardell. I live in Farncombe near Guildford and my job is training leadership in mostly in higher education but wherever they will pay me money. I, like everybody else, have a mortgage which needs paying. Um, in my leadership development work, the main thing I focus on is helping people to create the conditions in which people can think. And uh, when we look at the current economic system and crisis um, with uh, every country virtually in the world in huge debt, um, unemployment on the one hand, unsold goods and services on the other hand, and um, a debt crisis that's to be solved by further debt. Nothing seems to make sense. So it's clear to me that the thinking behind the system at the moment is not good enough. The system is not fit for purpose. So I started to think, what can I do about it? And the first thing I did was try to spend my money ethically. And I rallied my family round, and we don't buy from Nestle, and we do buy from our corner um, baker, her handmade by Jane, and these things made me feel better. I changed my mortgage to the Britannia, Britannia Building Society, and I've also changed our savings to the Triodos Bank. So there's a few things we could do, but it's not enough. I wanted to think more deeply about how to make an impact on the economic system, and that's where I'm very grateful to the thinking that's gone on by positive money because I, as a lay, lay person, did not understand how it all worked. And now I understand a little bit and I hope to share that with the audiences I'm going to speak to. So what I'd like to, to tell them is the strange way money is created with a swift sleight of hand by the banks, a couple of taps here and a couple of taps there, uh, which create money when we want to borrow and um, for which we pay interest. How do we get to be the ones that do the diddly 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 with the, the buttons and the sleight of hand? My friend John Coleridge said, let's all be bankers. Who wouldn't want to be in the current system? So that's one thing we're all paying incredible amounts of interest, including all our governments, which we have to pay back in tax. So there is a huge negative impact on a debt-based system. And the other thing I'm going to tell you about, which has made me so happy, is that there is an alternative. There is a positive money solution. And being positive about money is not just moaning about the current situation. It's doing something about it and offering an alternative. My name's David Faraday. Um, I'm a business owner, director, a lead trainer of a small training company based down in Godalming in Surrey. Uh, mostly we do uh, leadership and personal development training, predominantly in academia, uh, but in other aspects in corporate life as well. Um, now, I regard myself as a reasonably intelligent person. I've got a PhD, I was an academic for 12 years. I've published many research papers, albeit in engineering, uh, not in the subjects I'm here to talk about um, today. Uh, and also, I regard myself as being fairly interested in what's going on in the economy and what's going on in the world, particularly with the financial crisis that's recently happened. Um, so it was with some interest, about a month and a half ago, I suppose, I sat down uh, to watch a YouTube video entitled 97% Owned. Um, and I got about 30 minutes into this video. And I had to stop it. I had to stop it for a couple of reasons. Um, one... Uh, I decided pretty straightforwardly, I had to get my wife involved in this, and she was away training. She's over there now. Uh, she was away training. I wanted to watch it with her, because I knew she'd be interested in it. But mostly it was because um, I was both shocked and a bit sickened by what I was hearing in this video. I was shocked, because I did actually think I had some idea of how the financial system worked. And uh, it, it was becoming increasingly apparent that actually I had uh, many misconceptions about uh, how it did work. Uh, and somewhat sickened because it also became apparent that there were probably a small number of people in the system, possibly benignly and not altogether aware themselves, but they were making a tremendous amount of money out of this particular system at the expense of most other people. Um, so uh, as a result of that, uh, I watched the rest of the video when my wife came back. Uh, I decided that it was very important that I um, educate, uh, that I find out more about this myself. Uh, potentially educate other people, and that's what I'm here uh, to do today, to hopefully transfer some of this knowledge.
So before I get into the, um, the talk in more detail, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and how I got into these ideas. It was in a Quaker context. I was at a conference. It was on sustainability and justice or something like that. And we were in home groups and we were putting the world to rights when my neighbor said to me, uh, or said to all of us, you realize that the basis of the problems we're talking about is the fact that 97% of all the money in circulation is based on debt. I looked at him and thought, what are you on about? How can it be? He said, yes, it's debt money. Most of the money is debt money. And I said, it, it, it can't be true. And I, I was really, truly disturbed. Oh, I liked the man, I trusted the man from what I knew about him. And he said, well, if you want to know more, go and read this book. That's um, Both Robotham, Michael Rother Botham's um, Grip of Death group of death. That was intriguing in itself. I went away. The first chapter is on the net. I read it and had to go and buy the book, read it from cover to cover. And that was, that was it. Since then, it's become a total pas passion of mine. I'm not an economist. I don't feel confident about facts and figures and, and economic terms. But in, in, in the simple way of trying to raise awareness, um, I'm on a mission now to help to educate people into the, the basic ideas. So